You're hearing it. You're hearing it from our people from around the county, from the area that are involved, that are involved in so many different facets that are needed. Something that Maddie and his family and Club Draw were working on um, based off of a lot of discussions that we've had based off of experience, uh, experiences in these communities. Things that we got to think about with bl why Black Lives Matter. American music is black music. Privilege is thinking something is not a problem when it's not a problem to you personally. Systemic racism is real. Teach your child early what you learned late. Racism is a public health crisis. Racial justice is a feminist issue. Black trans lives matter. Decolonize education. Decolonize healthcare. I heard decolonize wellness. That was fire. I never heard that before. That's a good one. Uproot systemic racism. Uproot white supremacy from your personal life. Uproot white supremacy from your personal life. Systemic oppression is not broke, a broken system. You cannot fix a system that works exactly as it was intended. We need to rebuild our systems to serve the people. Standing up for your fellow Americans is the act of a true patriot. Amplify black voices. Racism is so American that when you protest it, people think you are protesting America. Radical means grasping at the root, Angela Davis. Walls turned sideways are bridges, Angela Davis. I can't believe what you say because I see what you do. James Baldwin, Newburgh native. Freedom is not a state, it is an act, John Lewis. I say this to say we need to create opportunities like this so that way we can educate more. I mean, with memes and social media, there's ways to reach more people. These, are, these ideas are, are uh, not solely to one person. Like Anusha said, decolonize wellness. There's so many areas that we need to work in, and again, that's why we're here. The next person that I'm gonna call up is Ruben Simmons, someone I've been working with and I've been close with for years. He works for the city of Beacon, and he has a story to share, but most importantly, solutions for what's next. Ruben. Again, we have water straight ahead. We've got some snacks. If somebody needs food or needs something, please reach out. We could get you something delivered or ordered, because I don't know if everybody likes pizza or not. But if you do need something, really come over, okay? Ruben Simmons. Good afternoon. Like Ali said, my name is Ruben Simmons, but I'm also known in this community as Coach Yogi. Uh, I work in the city. I work in the city of Beacon Highway Department. I was born and raised in the city. I was born in the hospital before it closed in 84, Highland Hospital off of Delavan Avenue. I lived in the city my whole time. Anybody from Beacon here? Make some noise if you're from Beacon. If you live in Beacon, if you do anything in Beacon. If you came to support Beacon, you came from out of town, you make some noise. I'm gonna to touch on the importance of both of those reasons. I would be remiss if I don't thank the organizers of Beacon for Black Lives. I wanna publicly thank Kierta Hall, Stefan Stewart, Xavier Mayo, Cedric uh, Parksdale, and Justice McCray. If it wasn't for the momentum that they built with the Black Lives Movement and the protests that they've been doing in the city, 
I'll tell you right now, I wouldn't be standing here today. People call me a community leader. My response, leader, I'm no leader. I do what I have to do and sometimes people follow. Edgar Friendly. Those young adults motivated me and I seen something in them that I seen when I was younger and people identified me as a leader. So I thank them. This is the eighth protest in this city. No looting, no rioting, and nothing negative, all peaceful. Give them a round of applause. Anybody there last Sunday in Beacon up on 9D? Well, we're gonna talk about that because we're gonna talk about why it's so important. Last Sunday, there was a support the police campaign rally. We're seeing all over the nation, all over the country, that these rallies are dividing communities. We brought our stance to their rally. They haven't hijacked or counter protest any of our protests. The goal wasn't to counter protest them. The goal was to let them know we got issues here. And we want to make sure that we come to the table and you hear our issues. Word spread out. There's people from Beacon and support just like you guys here from out of town. So automatically, we cannot, we cannot control the social media. That's one reason being so popular, the train to the city. We cannot control the narratives that are gonna be written all over Facebook. But what I saw on Saturday, last Saturday, in Pleasant Valley, did you guys see that? That is ugly for any community. That will not help move things forward. Sunday, I participated in a demonstration that showed you can support the police. You can counter protest and support Black Lives Matter. And the demonstration can be done peacefully because that is your constitutional right to stand for what you believe in. And we demonstrated it last Sunday here in the city of Beacon. What some people may not know, some good things came out of that. I'm gonna tell you right now, people that I've seen, that seen me grow up in the city as a child, some white people, they're uncomfortable right now. They're upset. They're confused. They're saying, Yogi, we know you. What were you doing on the other side? My reply is, there is no other side. This is one beacon. And subconsciously, you don't understand what we, say, what we mean when we say Black Lives Matter. And you need to know. And if we have to go to war, know where I'll be if you try to divide this community. There's going to be another shout out I want to give. We went from one end of the city all the way to the river side of the city. You've seen all the police officers out there. The police department's union has told me, has confirmed with me, that they want to sit at the table with us to address the issues moving forward. So I want to applaud them for helping us protest peacefully, and I want to applaud them for being the big people to understand that they want to sit with us and hear what we have to say. And that is done by Justice McCray. So as we move forward, we have to make sure that we're in every community, but we cannot treat every community the same. I'm telling you right now, we're making progress right here in this city, and I want to see it in our neighboring cities. And I want to start with the cities. We're in Beacon, the second largest city in Dutchess County. I want to see it in Poughkeepsie. I want to see it in Newburgh. I want to see it in Peekskill. I want to see it in Middletown. 
But it's only going to get done if the people in that community step up and want to make change themselves. Because we cannot run into somebody's community and make changes for them. That's something that I wouldn't allow here. And I wouldn't go there and force my intuition on anybody else because I don't know every community around here. Pleasant Valley is ve was very ugly. It was very dangerous. What I didn't know last Sunday was some people went to Se Pleasant Valley Saturday. Those same people came to support us in Beacon on Sunday. And I want to apologize to them. Because yes, I do move militant like Malcolm. My goal is to, to increase peace like Martin. So sometimes I come off with no compassion. So if there's anybody that felt disrespected by me on Sunday, I apologize. But at no time did I ever felt you were in danger in my city. Because I'm going to tell you right now, my mother was out there. My sisters were out there. My uncle was out there, standing on the other side of the street. He came over across the street for conversation. So if my family's out there, I want to make sure nothing happens to them. So please believe, nothing's going to happen to you. The police were out there. You seen the way the police respect what we're doing here. That's what we need in every community. Pleasant Valley. I don't even know if they have a police department. They're patrolled by state troopers. They're patrolled by county sheriffs. And yes, you could give a boot to the county sheriffs. That's a big reason why I believe we need to start in cities. Because cities have their own police department. The city of Newburgh has a police department. The city of Poughkeepsie has a police department. And we see them at our community events when you guys are out there. The people at the counter protest last Saturday, last Sunday in Beacon, the police that you see, I see them all the time. When you guys are in your community, you guys see these people all the time. Let's make sure we're having that conversation and we're bridging the gap. That was a goal of ours last Sunday when we went up for the counter protest. Yes, I know that's what it looks like on the optics. I'm not trying to control option. I'm not trying to control optics. I'm trying to move this city forward. And if we could create a blueprint, I would be happy. I would be honored to stand with you guys in your community and see how we could address things forward. Because you need your local elected leadership, which right now, do you see any of them here? I want to give a shout out to them. That's why I want to make sure. You need your local, your local elected officials. You need police representation. And if they're in a union, you need that union representation. And you need the black community. You need to support the police community. And that's a table that we're currently building right now in the city of Beacon. And I'm proud of everyone who's doing the work. And I just want to applaud them. And I just want to let you guys know, thank you for the support. And I think what we're doing here, we could do in many other communities. But it's going to take you as the individual. I'm going to wrap it up because I know we're going to move into breakout sessions. Um, Ali has asked me to stand in for uh, on, on uh, employment. Um, I work in the city of Beacon. I work in the highway department. I work my way up. I'll share the story with anybody who wants to come to, to the area I'll be at. I'll probably be over here. Um, we'll talk about civil service law. We'll talk about application processes. We're talking about how people get hired, how people don't get hired, um, school districts, public uh, um, police departments. Things, like, things of that nature. Once again, I just want to thank everybody. I think we're doing good work to move things forward. And I want to thank you guys for allowing me to speak. Once again, my name is Ruben Simmons. They call me Coach Yogi. <laughs>